The world-famous Bund area in the heart of Shanghai, the largest city on the planet, provided a stunning backdrop for a boat trip for ATP players Gilles Simon and Tommy Robredo before getting their campaigns underway. Robredo lost out to compatriot Nicolas Almagro in round two, but the 8 seed Frenchman fared far better against Albert Montagnes. Saving all six break points and converting five of his own, Simon, currently 11th in the race for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London, needed just 57 minutes to progress. On stadium court, Andy Roddick was looking to notch his 30th win of the season and progress beyond the second round here at the third time of asking. Standing in his way was Bulgarian Grigor Dimitrov. And the American did not have it all his own way in their first meeting. Entertaining fair served up by both there. But as has been the former world number one's yeah. trademark, he ground out the lead in a first set tiebreak. Roddick broke with Dimitrov serving to level the match and ensured the world number 72 would have to wait a little longer for his first victory over a top 20 opponent. Well, Roddick will be relieved more than anything else to get that one done in two. Sometimes you got to get through when uh, it's a little. A little scrappy looking, and uh, tonight was one of those nights. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable in that scenario. I've, I've done it many times, so um, I'm happy about the opportunity to try to improve and, uh, and move on. Fellow American Marty Fish had to face Bernard Tomic in the last match on stadium court, fresh from a quarter-final victory over the top Australian just last week in Tokyo. Enjoying his best year at the age of 29, Fish is making his main draw debut and duly took the opening set with little trouble. Oh, great hands. Tomic, the youngest player in the top 100 at number 49 in the world, showed more than a little flair to take the match to a deciding set. Touch of class from the 18 year old. 14, and it was the man from the Gold Coast who would prevail in the third to avenge that previous defeat at the earliest opportunity. And revenge has never been sweeter. He only had to wait less than a week to get back. Canadian Milos Ryanich continued his rehabilitation to life on tour with a hard fought victory over Frenchman Mikhail Lodra, a man he also defeated on the clay of Monte Carlo earlier in the season. He overcame the loss of the first set to record the win in 2 hours and 18 minutes. Earlier in the day, Spaniard Albert Ramos, 77 in the world, and playing in his first match in a main draw at this level, recorded the shock of the day, defeating world number 22 Marin Cilic in straight sets. The top seeds will take to the court on Wednesday, including defending champion Andy Murray, the informed player who defeated Rafa Nadal in the Tokyo final last week. No, I think he played fantastic. Always play against Andy is, is very, very difficult. He's a very special player and you know, to beat him, I have to play almost perfect all the match and I played almost perfect the first set, but not later, not especially the third set. No? So he played fantastic and just congratulate him. And for me, it was a positive tour tournament. Now keep working hard to try to, to play a good tournament here in Shanghai.